to our beloved instructor, attorney, Jim Patrick Saison, to my fellow classmates, good day. So today, we will tackle about the Philippine environmental law. First is the introduction. Negros Oriental State University, Kagawasan Avenue, Dumagari City, 6,200 Philippines. College of Criminal Justice Education, Bachelor of Science in Criminology, the title of our research. Philippine Environmental Laws, presented to Attorney Jim Frederick G. Season, presented by Sidilio Nestor L. Sorinio Forbe P. Tinaypan Julian S. and Vilos Jonathan B. So the sequence of our presentation is all about Republic Act Number Six One Eleven, Republic Act Number Seven Nine Four Two, Republic Act Number Eight Five Five Zero, Republic Act Seven Four Nine, Republic Act Nine Zero Zero Three, Republic Act Ninety Seventy Two, Republic Act Ninety One Forty Seven. Republic Act 9175, Republic Act 9275, Republic Act 9483. So today, I would like to tackle about the Republic Act 7611, 76, uh, 7942, and 8550, and the rest is uh, the report of my company. Our learning objectives. To identify the Philippine environmental law and to examine the characteristic of each Republic Act and to know the difference of each environmental law. Introduction Philippine environmental law works to protect land, air, water, and soil. Negligence of these laws results in various punishments like fines, community service, and in some extreme cases, jail time. So, if ever you violated that law, muna yung imong mapaingnan. Dito baka sa community service, uh, fines, that is one of the punishments, and some extremely cases. Katong mga extreme, uh, mga dagkong kaso na, ngayon mong nabuhat sa atong environment, mapresuna ka. So without these environmental laws, the government would not able to punish those who treat the environment poorly. So ibuhat ni nga pamalaod so that we are able to prevent, to preserve rather, our environmental So this is my first report. Republic Act number six seven six eleven. This is this is one of the Philippine environmental law here in the Philippines. Republic Act number seven six eleven, established in June nineteen nineteen ninety two, the St Strategic Environmental Plan or SEP or SEP for Palawan Palawan Act provided from the adoption of the comprehensive uh, framework for the sustainability development of Palawan compatible with protecting and enhancing the natural resources and endangered environment of the province. So this Republic Act is particularly in the, the, in the Palawan to preserve, to enhance, and to in the, uh, our endangered environmental of that particular province. Next is Republic Act Number 7942. Republic Act Number 7942 is the governing law that regulates minerals resources development in the country. One of the primary ob objectives of this act is to revitalize the ailing Philippine mining in industry by providing fiscal reforms and incentives and maintaining the uh, viable inventory of the minerals to sustain the industry so as what we observe nowadays so we have the law if ever illegal ang imong pag mining so daghan kay ga mining ron especially sa mga elite people who are doing this kind of um illegal mining 
So, mapreso ka under Republic Act 7942. So, di ka, ka basta-basta mining pang pag mga minerals or any golds or unsa pa diha sa bukid. Uh, kay muni maka-destroyed or hinungdan sa mga landslide o floods tungod sa um, because of the uh, illegal mining. Uh, Kinahangin istadihan pa na sa atong environmental kuan environmental uh, mga personnel na uh, naka-assign ana before uh, mo ano sila nga uh, mo approve nga legal na nga mining okay next is republic act number 8550 republic act number 8550 otherwise known as the philippine fisheries code of 1998 was enacted into law to achieve food security limit access to the fishery and aquatic resources of the Philippines for the exclusive enjoyment of the Philippines citizen ensure that the rational and sustainability development and management and conservation of our fishery and aquatic resources in the Philippine waters including the exclusive economic zone or the EEZ to protect the right of the fisher fox especially of the local communities so may tawag nila o kuan uh, balaod for the uh, fishery code of 1998 so this is very important guys para um, ma-minimize nato o mapadaghan pa nato o ma-preserve pa nato ang mga uh, various of species under the sea so guys the rest um, act is uh, presented or will be reported to our next reporting which is my company Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.